Hey guys, I'm Dina. This is Creative Minds Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. And I am just going to try to tell you very briefly what has been going on with us in homeschool and what I am learning. Um, because I just feel like um, I'm the teacher, but God is still teaching me. This is going on my, it's either fifth or sixth year of homeschool, I don't know, depending on what you think of as school. I think if we start with preschool years, this is our sixth year. Um, he is still teaching me and I am still learning. I'm reading the book, The Unhurried Homeschooler, and um, really that, through that, through watching several YouTube mamas out there and um, through friends that I have that are homeschooler mamas that with experience, I'm learning that um, I don't have to drag my kids through school. I feel like I was dragged through school kicking and screaming my whole entire school career. Like up until the day I graduated from high school. I hated every minute of school, if I'm honest. So um, I feel like up until this year, a lot of our school days have been that way. And um, a lot of our homeschool struggles have, I'm concluding have been because mama has in her mind, this is, we need to accomplish X, Y, and Z, whether you like it or not. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's humbling to admit, but it's true. Um, I am learning to go with their ebb and flow. And, um, you know, just learning to stop when I sense that they've had enough mentally and physically, writing wise, whatever. Um, yeah, I feel the pressure from outside of my homeschool when I look at what everyone else is doing. I feel the pressure. We need to do more. We need to do more. My kids need to be writing more. My kids need to be doing, 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 doing. But the signals I get from my kids say, we need less, we need less. I'm trying to make sense of that, honest, if, you know, if I'm perfectly honest, I'm still trying to make sense of that. I don't want to handicap my kids um, endurance wise. Like I know a mama that um, her kids, they have homeschooled for years and years and then they went to Christian school and she said they just have no endurance. They, they really had to learn how to endure a long day of school because it's just you're not used to that um so in that aspect I think man it would be a huge adjustment if, if ever my kids do have to go to school regular school it'd be a big adjustment but it would be a big adjustment anyway and I think they are capable kids so I'm trying to take that out of my mind and and not be concerned about what could happen or if whatever I just want to keep meeting them where they are taking it at a, as, at a pace that they can handle and every day just keep like the little engine that could, we're just going to keep on going. And um, if that means we do a 15 minute lesson of language arts and that's all they can take because, you know, a lot of times we get right when we're getting through with like, we're, we back, we get backed up against the lunch break wall. And let me tell you, you get some, I have three people who just turn into hangry people and they're done. And I have to be sensitive to that because they really get, it's hanger. <laughs> if, if that's what it is. So it's like, I have to be sensitive to that and go, okay, we're going to stop because it starts getting, it, it's pushback. It's like, ah, okay, you know, we're going to just find a landing place. Let's go to lunch. And take a break and then we come back and I'll be like okay we got to do a little bit of language arts and then we're gonna do a little bit of this and then we're gonna be done and that is working short and sweet is the way to go at least for my crew um so I'm just that is the one thing there's two themes that keep coming up in my journal time management and sibling rivalry um I have two kiddos that just have the hardest time getting along one day they can decide, they will, they will say out loud, we're going to be buddies today. And they can be buddies. We'll let one do one thing that offends the other one. And it completely falls apart. So, um, 
we're still working on that, on figuring out how to get them to not be that way. I think, honestly, I think a lot of it is a personality conflict. It's like, um, they're, they want to be buddies. There's a lot of jealousy. You know, when the girls are buddy-buddy, then it's, we have odd man out. You know, if, if these two are buddy-buddy, then we have, it's always the odd man out. We struggle with that, and it very much affects you know, it, it can be where they sit on the circle time rug. Anything like that. It just, they can just, it can be all day long. And um, it can be days long. And then they'll get past it. They'll decide to get over it. And then we have good moments until the next hurdle. And we go through that whole cycle again. So I think that's just something that we're working through as a family. Trying to figure out how to help them manage their feelings and there it's really a lot of jealousy that goes on um but yeah so keeping lessons short and sweet and we re are reading lots of like the Berenstain Bears books um just different character lesson books and during our Bible time I've kind of been starting because I have a little kiddo that just comes late to school like almost every morning and I've started like if it's time to start and we're all in here except her I just start reading a fun book, because, like a Berenstain Bears book or whatever, just because my other two are already in here, and it's kind of like a reward for them. And she quickly figures out, she hears me reading and, and starts coming like, oh, you know, I didn't want to miss it. So that's working out. Um, but hopefully, just we're going to keep working on the whole character issue that sibling rivalry is. Um, you know, but otherwise, things are going well. When I'm listening to their pace, and um, kind of just keeping that ebb and flow going, it's going well. Um, another reason why I haven't been on here is because I still have some mood struggles going on. Um, with that, I've been adjusting, like y'all know, if you follow me at, for any length of time, you know that um, I love to night owl. That is where I get my peace and quiet and me time. But, um, I'm figuring out that I really have to get my me time at, as sleep, which is a bummer on so many levels because I don't like that. that. That's not the way I like to get my me time, but I've, I just really noticed that when I night owl, my body is tired and my mood suffers. And, um, you know, I don't want to be a quarrelsome wife and I don't want to be a um, just, I don't know, all the traits that go along with someone who is in a perpetual bad mood. Um, so that kind of is something I'm still working through. Um, I don't know what that's all about, hormones. Um, you know, I am still nursing. My baby just does not want to take cup, a milk from a cup. And um, according to the doctor, she needs milk until she's at least two. So um, yeah, we're kind of, we, she's, she does great. She's nurses, she's a great nurser. She just, still wants to be nursing. That was not my plan. I am not one that is like a diehard nursing person at all. Um, but I also don't want to mess up the good thing we have going as far as her sleeping and, um, you know, that kind of thing. And when you're hungry, because you didn't get enough nutri nutrients or whatever, you don't sleep well and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, so I don't know if that's what it is. I've done, gotten blood work done and it came back normal except for high cholesterol. So quit eating ice cream and start exercising was my doctor's advice on that. <sighs> so, um, but yeah, that has still been an issue. Um, and sometimes I, I feel like some of that is um, a spiritual attack, honestly, because doesn't the enemy know when you've worn yourself out because you haven't gotten in bed and gotten enough rest like you should? It's like I've, I've almost figured out I'm opening myself up to attack when I'm tiring myself out um, thinking I'm refueling, but I'm making myself tired physically. Um, so no, I like, I've figured out like my mood can't recover when I'm physically exhausted and, um, you know, so I, that's something I'm still working on. Um, I did pretty good about forcing myself to go to bed and I'm telling you, it's not like I'm having trouble going to sleep. I can't keep my eyes open when I will make myself get in the bed. I can't stay awake. So let me know, like, okay, yeah, I am tired. Like, no wonder I'm struggling. But um, 
we took our break our week break off and I had a hard time because we had I had a lot of stuff going on the girls turned seven and we had their birthday we had like three different celebrations for their birthday like mixed in with family birthdays and stuff so it was kind of an exhausting week we also my kids started soccer and that was crazy um basically Everett they I hadn't heard from Everett's coach like I knew the girls had practice on Thursday that week well, I didn't hear, I hadn't heard anything. So I finally called up there and they're like, oh, we didn't have the correct number for you. And so I get a text from the coach and he's like, oh, we have practice today. Oh, well, great. You know, so uh, that kind of was from our week, during our week break from Tuesday, he had practice. Tuesday, they all had practice. Thursday, and it just has kept on coming. Um, this past week they had, well, they, they were actually rained out Monday and Tuesday and I will not tell you a lie I was so happy <laughs> I was so happy and uh Friday they were both supposed to have practice and we had done homeschool bowling day I was exhausted and did not want to do practice in the potential rain with four kids my husband was going out of town I did not want to be dragging all that up there well come to find out Everett's was canceled but the girls had practice so my mom came and helped me with all that and that was nice she came and um spent time with us and um just helped me drag kids around to practices and um, Saturday morning Everett had practice. So it, that's a big, that's been a big adjustment. Um, for people who don't like to go, 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 it's been an adjustment to, I don't know how people do multiple activities for multiple children. I am not that girl. Um, so yeah, and everything within me fights. I think I'm a hermit and leaving the house stresses me out. <laughs> So, um, I'm trying to give my kids an outlet for sports and for developing friendships. It's just very challenging for myself. Just, you know. So, yeah. That has been adjust an adjustment also that we've been kind of in. So, that's kind of why I haven't been on here much. Just um, my mood has suffered from all those adjustments and from when I don't have self-control and I night owl too much and then the next day I'm like a grouch bear. So, um, yeah, that I'm working on all that. I'm working on getting our ebb and flow down. School, for the most part, has been pretty good um, overall just because I have been doing that. So anyway, that is my update. I am so sorry that I'm like a little rambly person that my thoughts are all disorganized. But I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it some love. Comment down below. Tell me what's going on in your homeschool and how y'all are doing. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.